In my previous video, I showed you how to add column values for user selected row using this formula. However, the issue with this solution is that new columns don't automatically update in a summation formula. We start off by using an index function which is used to return the value of a cell in a specific range based on rows and column coordinates. So if we assign the first argument as row 8 to 25 and leave the row number as blank and column number as 5, we get the value from column E from row 8 to 25. Now to make the column number dynamically extend to the last column as more rows get added, use the count A function in row 7 to count non-empty cells in the header which returns a value of 5. Insert the count A as a third argument index and add one since our data set starts from column B. All we need to do is to copy the original formula and replace the static reference of F25 with a dynamic index function and test it by adding new columns and values to the rambutan row and the total will update dynamically.